more than the previous info about autism and Alzheimer's. Believe me, I'm seriously concerned with what I'm watching. As a wildlife biologist, I've been watching the ecosystem collapse. When you lose all your stream organisms, when you have aluminum overload in your streams, you're killing your microbial bacteria, and you're disrupting the entire ecosystem. So it goes way beyond just a little bit of pollution. Um, how did Monsanto know to create aluminum-resistant plants? I don't think I've heard anybody ask that question. Okay. Insects. I've done studies in Siskiyou County. They're at 20% of normal. The aquatic insects ma basically made a nosedive in 2006 to about 20% of normal. So far this year, I've sampled 200 trout stomachs. 98% of them are empty. So uh, sorry about the trout fishing, fellows. The mayflies, stoneflies, dipteris, and caddisflies are uh, damn near gone. The terrestrial sampling is down to about 20% of normal, except for pest species like ants. Uh, we're seeing a loss of the major bird species, and as the gentleman said, the ecosystem is unraveling, and Audubon's been telling you that for years. The materials that are going into the environment right now, aluminum oxide nanoparticles and barium nanoparticles, these just happen to be the same materials that they use in nanothermate explosives. And so when this stuff settles down out of the air into the environment, it is small enough to be absorbed through the root structure of the trees and the forest. And so when there's a forest fire, and there will be a forest fire, those fires burn dramatically hotter. The point is that the, the, the cost of firefighting, the cost in the, in the health care system have nearly doubled in the last 10 years. The amount of acreage is lost because of fires. The impact on human health is dramatic. I personally tested uh, water and aluminum and I found aluminum had 47 times the normal expected amounts. Uh, strontium had 10 to 20 times the amounts. Barium was 20 times. This is what the stuff looks like here. I collected it. Looks, most people just think it's a cobweb, but I tested it. It has outrageous amounts of barium, strontium, and aluminum, but they destroy the sample, so I'm not letting this get away from me. You know, these tests are international in scope. We're seeing this all over the world, guys. Okay, pH of acid soils is 20 times more alkaline. The aluminum in the soil has doubled in the last 10 years. The rain normal was 5.6, it's 20 times more alkaline. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH, and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. The Air Force conducted a study starting in 1993. It was called In Vitro Toxicity of Aluminum Nanoparticles in Rat alveolar macrophages. That's a real fancy way of saying testing the effect of aluminum nanoparticles on the white blood cells in the little air sacs in your lung, the alveoli. And what they found in this eight-year study was that these particles, when you're exposed to long enough, it suppresses the ability of your white blood cells to defend you from airborne infections coming into your lungs. So it suppresses your immune system. But they also found that these same particles, once they get into your system, they can actually go through the barrier in each one of the cells. They get inside the cells, and these particles can actually suppress the ability of mitochondria which are in the cells that help to gobble up toxins and things that would be harmful to the nucleus and the, the reproduction process of the cells in your body. These processes are suppressed, and so essentially by breathing this material in, your immune system is dramatically suppressed. I wrote to the federal government because Air Force wrote a book, and on the first page of the book they say, we're going to control the weather by the year 2025. I asked them, what are they doing spraying this, these chemicals on the public? I said, there's violation of United States Code 50 U.S.C. 1520, which prohibits the American government from experimenting on the U.S. citizens with chemical agents. I said that law also requires the who's ever experimenting when the federal government does it, that they have to report to Congress within 30 days. They wrote back, they said they don't know what I'm talking about. They, we have enough evidence that there's a spraying going all, all over the place. Um, we were warned about the takeover of our freedoms by the military industrial complex by both Eisenhower and Kennedy. They're gaining traction on us, folks. We're, we are in trouble more than just a spraying program. All I can say is it's about time we get up in arms about this because it is affecting our health. It's high time 
that we as citizens of this great country take action. Board of Supervisors in Suffolk County, New York, they outlawed geochemical engineering. Hawaii passed an ordinance prohibiting geochemical engineering. I urge you to bar geoengineering in Shasta County and pass an ordinance. At least ask some damn questions. What the hell is all this aluminum doing here? Why are the trees dying? Fish is dying? Why is there Alzheimer and aluminum spiking? And why are these fibers on the ground here in Shasta County? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marmon. Today, the Shasta County Board of Supervisors has been the beneficiary of some sincere, passionate, and knowledgeable comments. And I thank you for those. I am in agreement with my colleagues about sending letters and a call for action, but I would hope that we could go a step further. I would like for us to send a copy of this video where all of you spoke today, all two and a half or three hours of this testimony to be sent to our senators and our U.S. representatives we'll and, also, and also our representatives in the state of California. We'll do that. Let them listen to the passion that came out of this meeting today. Thank you. You have uh, the motion in front of you. I think it's understood. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion passes unanimously. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me at all if the response is one that exceeds far the boundaries of Shasta County in terms of the platform that is offered as evidenced by those who attended today from around the world. That's very impressive.